know, um, this is my first episode of Girl Talk. Mm-mm. And I'm going to be talking about whatever. I told people to DM me some questions or topics, things they want to discuss. If he opened my door, I'm going to slap him. Um, things they want to discuss um, about girls, period. Or just anything, you know. You can ask me whatever you want. I'm going to talk about it. So, the first question I got was, what is your skin routine? My skin routine is water and minding my own damn business. Now, but um, that's true though. And I use natural oils. I use tea tree oil, coconut oil, um, even olive oil sometimes. I use aloe vera, baby oil, shea butter, and Vaseline. Um, <laughs> it says, y'all freak on the first night, and is she a hoe or is she grown? My thing is, it takes two people to have sex. So if that person a hoe, you a hoe. Y'all both, it's the first night for both of y'all, right? So y'all both a hoe. Um, it's, we just have a double standard society, which makes people think like, a, the girl's the hoe. But I don't see how, because... If I didn't want to have sex with you, it would be considered rape. So what are you saying? I'm going to slap this dog. So, the next question is, how many bodies does a girl need to be, how many bodies does a girl need to have before being called a hoe? It's a double standard ass society, okay? It's sad, especially in black communities. Black communities, our men really be on our women about having sex with people. It's like, first of all, Y'all ass is not faithful at all. Most of them. So, how do you think, who who finna sit around and wait for y'all to get right? I'm about to go over there till it's like get right. You know what I'm saying? But, I don't think it matters. I just think it's up to that person. If they're fine with how many bodies they have, then, oh well. As long as they don't have STD or whatever and if you gonna fuck with them you just gonna fuck with them if you're not then rules it don't apply to you i don't think it should matter like a lot of boys be having 20 plus bodies a girl will have seven and she's a hoe like i don't know if we're in the same time period but 20 is higher than seven or 20 is higher than 15 you know what i'm saying so it's just I don't think it matters. It's your body. It's your decision. And then it says, what makes a girl a hoe? What makes a girl a hoe is when she's just giving away her body for no goddamn reason. That's what, That's the only way she could be a hoe. And if she just fucking on, like, brother after brother, cousin, like, no, nah, that's nasty. But, yeah, when you're just giving away your sexual energy for no apparent reason, it's like... Why are you doing that? Like, what satisfaction are you getting out of that? And people have to realize that sex is a natural form. So, it has a lot of importance. It's not just something you do to get your rocks off. And when you do that, you diminish your own body. I think a lot of people should look into that. Um, you should only have sex when you feel that it's beneficial or that this person is giving you some type of feeling or connection. You know what I'm saying? So... It's, it's bad when you're just out here fucking for no apparent reason and you just that's disgusting I think that's the only way a girl could be a hoe man too it says why are women considered hoes for having multiple partners but when a man does it it's okay like I said um, it's a double standard society and I just don't understand why so many people put the term a hoe onto women because of how many partners they have it shouldn't matter how many partners you have like that's nobody else's business but yours this is your body these are your legs you're opening i mean if you want to put 10 after 10 after 10 things up in there in a month i mean that's your business like, i don't judge nobody as long as you ain't messing with my man or giving it to any of my brothers I don't care. That's all useless. I don't judge you. I'm not up I'm not up for that. But that's it don't make you a bad person. Like y'all have to 
think about stuff like somebody's situation doesn't make them a bad person like at all next question what makes you so different what makes me so different is that i just really focus on making myself happy i don't really pay attention to what other people have going on in their lives unless it's affecting me or benefiting me or you know what i'm saying or bringing me down I choose to be positive about a lot of stuff. I'm very mature for my age. I can help out a 50-year-old with their problems. I mean, a lot of people that's 50 not going to listen to me because I'm 20. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I'm very smart for my age. Um, and I have a lot of creativity that I want to express to people. You know, so I think that's what makes me different. I'm a, It's a lot of stuff that makes me different, but... Like I said, I just really focus on making Rena happy and doing what Rena wants to do. You know what I'm saying? So, I think that's one thing that makes me different. Next question. Could you see yourself dating a girl? See? No. Here's why. I do see some girls and I just like, damn, she is so cute. Or like, um, Cal's sister, Ariana. I think she is so cute and she's so bad. But like, I, I get told that I act like her I don't see it but I do get told that sometimes so that with just two me's no no it would go it would be so wrong and if I if I was to date a girl she would have to be super cute like she would have to be so bad like I don't see I don't nobody take this the wrong way I don't judge anybody but I personally don't see the point of me dating a girl that looks like a boy i'm i might as well talk to a boy you know what i'm saying and i don't want to deal with somebody who has a period too i don't want to deal with somebody who i gotta wait for them to get their hair done i gotta pay for them to get their feet done i ain't got time for that that's already expensive for me you know so no. how often do you shake your ass every goddamn day <laughs> um next question is why did you start youtube i started youtube because simply i wanted to bring my creativity to the screen um i wanted to find an outlet to express myself i love doing makeup i've been on youtube since i was a kid like i've always had a computer a laptop getting on youtube just watching anything listening to Nicki minaj like just doing everything like i just wanted to make sure that the world heard my voice because i feel like it's important <laughs> i'm a very blunt person and i speak my mind on whatever it is whenever it is whoever it is so i feel like it would have been best for me to start youtube i felt like when i wasn't doing youtube i was wasting my damn time with myself you know so now that i started my channel i feel so much better about myself it says who is your inspiration my inspiration is of course me um i inspire myself to be the greatest because i'm really hard on myself at times but also a really big part of my inspiration is my family like my parents my siblings all my brothers and sisters i never want them to struggle for anything or even the ones that's older than me i want them to always be straight you know what i'm saying especially in today's society is just terrible so i don't never want my family to want for nothing so me doing this taking initiative and stuff i just feel like it's important because it could open some doors for them you know it says oh next question says what's a good cheap makeup line to buy nyx baby nyx 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 clinique and i say maybelline yeah nyx is the sh though the i got everything nyx um they stuff is so pigmented it come in clutch and you don't have to spend band at the band buying and stuff like some of these products that cost a whole bunch of money don't be that good y'all like I, I walks in the store i test out everything i pick up a palette go in there and do one i do another palette do another i just to see before i you know try to purchase some and it don't even be it really don't be a hit like my 52 shade palette that i be using a lot is better than half of that stuff like the pigment is just fire so i say nyx um go to ross too ross tj maxx marshall's they be having like little off-brand people stuff but 
they stuff be good you just have to dry it out it says what advice would you give to 10 year old kids um y'all need to learn how to pay some bills <laughs> no for real though like it's hard to be a kid nowadays like when i was growing up we used to go outside i never see kids outside i think that's sad like it's terrible kids know how to use a phone before they know how to talk like, that's not good you should know how to read and write all of that first if anything but this era is just full of technology and manipulation i think kids nowadays need to learn chores they need to be taught morals at a young age because of how like how much the society affects them i didn't know what to say but yeah like how how much of an impact the society has on kids nowadays and how easy it is to get to them i just think that people need to tell their kids what it is straight up right now like before it's too late because i be seeing a lot of kids on the internet they so bad y'all like my mama would have and i would like uh -uh. a lot of kids they do it back to their mama and like nah mm -mm. i think kids nowadays need to know how to shut up clean up um go outside and play watch disney channel from back in the day like some go to the park some um next question says what's your favorite thing about the holidays the food says the food next question says why do females act so crazy after getting that hmm <laughs> the reason that girls act crazy and this is an honest answer is because we are emotional beings a man and a woman are two different species if i've never noticed two different species a man is a physical being and a woman is an emotional being, okay? So that's why it's easier for a man to have sex with somebody and just be like, eh, it felt good. You know, a woman, our sexual energy is different. We catch emotion. That's a soul type. It's a soul type of both, but a woman has emotions with it. So the soul type is, is there. It's really there. Um... That's why I said it's, you need to be careful who you're having sex with. You can't just have sex with anybody and then expect them to act normal. Like, you need to get to know them first. You can't. This is for boys. Y'all can't just be having sex with these girls. These girls are crazy. They got stuff. They got crazy family members. And it just don't be worth it. Like, and then why would you even want to have sex with somebody that... You 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 just know you're not gonna talk to. It. It's a lot of girls out here that will have sex with you. That's pretty. They don't want nothing but sex. But why go to somebody? You know what I'm saying? That seem like they vulnerable. Like y'all know what y'all be doing. Like niggas know what they be doing. They be man trying to manipulate girls and then show their friends like, bro, her ass crazy. She thirsty. I got brother after brother after brother. I'm already knowing what's up. So it's like. Y'all can't completely blame that on a female because y'all know what y'all doing. And then if you really throwing it, making a throw it back or you laying it down, she really going to be in her feelings. So it's just like y'all need to be careful what y'all doing, man and woman. Y'all need to just be careful who y'all having sex with. And girls, if you know that you really feeling this boy and you giving off whole vibes, you need to go ahead and say, you need to go ahead and say, is he serious? Like, y'all, that's my dog. Like, is he serious? Y'all need to just go ahead and say what it is and what it ain't. Because if not, it's going to be confusion. And that's why I say, like, communication is key. If you, and then for the boy, just ask her. Ask her. Say, do you want to just have sex or you look for something more? Because I'm just looking at sex. She can't get mad at that. It's nothing she can say. If she call you disrespectful, boom. You already know she emotional. Just cut off. It's that simple. It's billions of us out here. You don't have to put yourself in those situations. Gee, I'm about to fight this dog if he come in. Like, he's trying to come in my room. What's wrong with him? Okay, so my last question is, why do girls that hold all their life try to settle down with the dude they got a lot going for themselves? You just answered your own question. She's a hoe. <laughs> she wants some stability with a nigga who got some money you know um 
I mean, I see a lot of girls do that, but it's like I don't I don't understand what people don't get. It's a two way street. If you see that she out here thotting and bopping and you cover, who you mad at? You wipe you wipe the thought. Like you that's what you did. You you wiped the girl that was making swirls. Like I don't know what how to say that, but um if a sister want to get her money out of a mister and he going to pay for it, who ain't going to go? Because I know if I was a, a 70 plus body little mug out here and I'm just bouncing, bouncing, then I find this little man got some money and he want to wife me, it's easy. Why not? <laughs> Y'all just got to be realistic. Um, but that's all my questions uh this was cool this is my first girl chat next time i'm gonna do it completely different i wouldn't even call this my girl chat i would say this is like a q a but yeah i would definitely do this a little bit different i still liked it or whatever i hope you all got some insight on how i think about things i hope some somebody took something good out of this situation but yeah so hit me up next time you know you want to get any questions answered hit me up on my snapchat instagram even my twitter not my facebook that's private so yeah make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i'm probably finna get in the bed because the sun's about to come up in a minute so yeah th guys thanks for watching make sure you hit the bell for my notifications and have a blessed day